normal. Okay, so this is Grand Finals. It's 3 out of 5 between Hudeman and LPN. You said there's a lot of experience between these two yeah. against each other. Not in this game. Oh, you saw him right there. He absorbed the jump roundhouse. Yeah. So Bison's V-Skill can absorb moves, but if it's a multi-hit move, you're going to get body, pretty much. So we'll get to see how... Yeah, yeah there it is. nice. Good stuff. Using the EX there. Yeah, I don't think it's invincible, though. I got hit out of that plenty of times Oh, really? Yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see that standing forward. Still a great poke for Bison. Don't have quite that standing roundhouse. Yeah, if you don't hold the V skill, then he won't throw the fireball. So you right. can play kind of a little mind game there. And keep in mind, you know, you're you're giving him V trigger as that happens. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen v, v trigger really do much. Now we're gonna get a chance. Look yep. at those dashes. Yeah. They're, and by the way, they're actually invincible during some of that time. Right. And you saw right there how the stomp changed so much. Mm -hmm. He disappears and comes out with stomp. He yep. Scissors. Oh. Everything changes a little bit. All the specials. Yeah, V-Trigger still going down, but every time he uses the special move, you saw how the V-Trigger drained a much faster. Right. So you, it will drain by itself eventually, but you can hold on to it a little bit and find the right moments to do your special moves. Alright, good corner pressure. Oh, he tried to get under him, but nice throw from LPN. Takes him back into the corner, but then he corners himself again, giving Hootaman an opportunity now. The EX scissors seemed pretty safe. It did, actually, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Even, oh, nice. By the way, even roundhouse scissors seemed pretty safe because it pushed him back yeah. it pretty was well. It His was distance. Be, yeah. Medium did not. Yes. But Medium. the other ones all seem like they're pretty good. I mean, look, obviously that's, you know. <laughs> day one. Too much time. Yeah, it's not even. It's day minus however many. So right. it's, there's going to be a lot of changes. True. A lot of what we see now, obviously, is going to be different in the final product. Right. You know. Yeah, EX Scissors does not go through fireballs. Yes, no projectile invincibility, but he doesn't need it anymore no. because he can just grab the fireball and throw it back at you, so. Plenty of options. Yep. And even if you activate V-Trigger, you can dash through them. You know, you can do all sorts of things. Oh, nice, alpha counter. So that was uh, the, the V counter. V reversal. V reversal. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, we got there gotcha. eventually. Gotcha, yeah. The V reversal, and uh, it's different for every character. They all serve different purposes. Like Chun Li's doesn't actually knock you down; it just pushes you at a distance that she prefers it. Right. Cammy will actually switch sides with you. So there's a lot of cool variety on that. Okay, nice. Oh, oh no, no. It's not a combo, yeah. But he's using it for pressure. I really like him using that as pressure because it looks like he gets a lot of uh, frame advantage afterwards. Right. Yeah. Oh, nice reversal uppercut. Gonna take him out. No. Oh. Again, that's not invincible. Yeah. So as soon as you see that, he might have just been able to like low jab uppercut. May might have been fast enough. Might be accustomed to not really pressuring Bison as hard because in SF4 he did have so many escapes. He had a lot of really good options to get out. Right. This game, not so much. That standing fierce again. That's cancelable. I don't know if LPN knows that because I haven't seen him cancel it yet. A lot of muscle memory left. Yes. It was happening to me too. You know, I kept trying to do crouching medium kick into scissors. It just doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, it's the, one of the hardest things was trying to unlearn a lot of things that we have built up in five, six years of playing Street Fighter 4. Oh, crouching medium kick has always been cancelable. You know? <laughs> yep. Like I said, I, I feel like Bison, even compared to the Alpha version, which threw fireballs, I feel like this Bison is the most different out of them all. Oh, here we go. V-Trigger time. Gets the throw. Okay. Now, oh, see, he got to keep applying the pressure there. Right. Because like you said, Bison doesn't really quite have great wake-ups. Exactly. He has no options, really. Oh, nice jump back. And tricky thing, fireball. About, tricky thing about Bison, too, is that he can do the super in the air as well and out of head stomps. And it's not a charge. His super is not a charge. All of his other moves are charges, but his super is not. Quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward, roundhouse. I really like that we're seeing some bison here. You know, I thought it was just going to be all Ryu. And it mostly <laughs> was Ryu. But it's nice to see bison as well. <laughs> He's the character that I would say I used most. He mm -hmm, and, and Birdie. And Birdie, yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen Birdie yet, but I'm sure we'll see him later. Yeah, I mean, obviously, characters like Birdie, not a lot of people familiar with him, even from the Alpha games. And He's even quite if you different. If you play the Alpha games, he's nothing like that anyway. So, you know, he is a very different character now. He, he really feels like the most new of these characters. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're right, he's returning, but in a very different format. Right. 
Oops, I think he meant scissor kick instead of head stomp. Got the head stomp. Oh, here we go. Big damage. No, oh, but see? You, know, you, you want to do it. Yeah. You want to do it. You got to get rid of that habit. Yeah, we saw that a lot in Cross Tekken, too. A lot of people kept doing the, you know, the chains. Right. And it would really hamper their damage. It did take a while for people to figure that out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Little yeah, Stand you know what? Jab I like his Sand Jab a lot. I found yeah. it anti-aired pretty well, a, a bit better than it looks like it would. It's just a quick move, a quick move that hits at a good height. Yes. And you can't, you can't crouch it. Right. Oh, here we go. Big damage. Oh, he probably tried to cancel low forward. Probably so. Not going to happen. Hey, you see off of that V trigger, those Devil's Reverse, the head stomp, the Devil's Reverse moves are so good. Oh, but he just kept jumping in. He didn't use take advantage of his dash in V trigger. As we said, he like has a teleport dash now. Right, right. I'm going to really enjoy doing V trigger dash up grab <laughs> while, <laughs> while that works, because I'm sure that's not going to last as a mix up. But. <laughs> You know what? Last night it did. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait, he disappeared. What happened? Oh, he's next to me. It's just really nice to go from being a relatively stationary character as far as the walk speed, movement speed goes on the oh, ground to okay. being very fast. Oh, okay. Oh! LPN found the, found the sequence. Stand strong, low strong. You saw him doing that a bunch of times. Yeah. Now he's got the super here. Get some good damage off of that. I love that pressure. Oh, that's yeah, it. that's it. I love him using that flame every once in a while just so he can keep the advantage. Because after the scissor kick is blocked, even the short one, though it's safe, you don't have any frame advantage right. and such. So the low, strong, and the flame right there, that's not a true combo. You right. can get something in between that. But if the opponent chooses to block it, then Bison gets some advantage and some pressure. I really like that. I like how he's switching between the two. I like that move as an addition to his repertoire a lot, because mm -hmm. it does give him that pressure. It gives him anti-air if you use it early as well. Mm -hmm. Oof. All right, oh, okay. time. Yeah, let's speed it up dash. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's speed it up. You saw Eve right there, even the scissor kick looked like it teleport a little bit. So you can kind of mask between teleport and scissor kick. Ooh. But see how long it lasts? Yeah, he's still got it. Yeah, so it's good. It's really good for him. But every time you use the special move, as we mentioned, like Cammy, for example, he'll use uh, Cammy will activate her V trigger, but her special moves drain the V trigger fast. Right. So you only really get two special moves. Yeah, it works quite differently among the different characters, mm. which I like. I like that a lot. It you know, feels like each character is really its own. Yeah, this is one of my favorite things right now about this is that everyone's V skill is very unique. Everyone's V trigger is very unique. Yes. You know, even how much V trigger you have is unique between characters. I just, I really like the variation and the uniqueness from each character. Having, with every character having their own kind of mini system, mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. So. Ah, so, okay, so. It, when uh, when Ryu does, when he has the V-Trigger going, right? Uh -huh. And you want to do charge up to the full Dungeon Fireball, right, which right, right. breaks guard. Uh -huh, uh -huh. If you use EX at the start, it charges up about four times faster, AKA pretty fast. <laughs> Cause it doesn't, you, the regular one charges up pretty fast already, so. <laughs> we're, we're definitely seeing LPN figure some stuff out. We saw right. Crouching Fierce as an anti-air just a little bit ago. Nice. Oh yeah, he definitely does have advantage there. They might be good friends, but this is definitely a serious match. They both <laughs> want that, SF, that uh, PS4. <laughs> See him using Stand Jab now to fake the, uh, the V-Skill. Cute. Now, one thing that Combo Fiend did that I started miming was after a grab, you can do a really nice little Devils setup. Yeah, yeah. Stomp, yeah, yeah. Stomp will end up there. If you want to, you can do Devils instead and end up in the front pretty safely. Hey, yeah, see right there, Huda Man tried to punish that EX Scissors with low jab and didn't seem like he could get it out in time. Okay. So it's it looks it, like LPN here at match point, no, tournament it's a, point. It's three out of five. Oh, it's three out of five for the grand finals. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. So they have a little more chance here. 
Very interesting seeing this game played by somebody like Hudeman, who's whose nature is not so much to go in. Uh, as the guy we played with last night, is a very different take on it, which is great. That's oh, good to but see. he's doing a oh, lot of Oh, come on, man. That could have killed. He actually could have taken the round if he had done a combo. Yeah, because his stun is still up there. As you can see, as you're blocking, your stun still doesn't drain. I mean, he could have just outright killed. Oh, that's true. That's true, too. Oh, oh that's yeah, that's got to be it. it. Oh, oh, no, but he been. did the jabs again. Yeah. Looks like he's testing out that stand roundhouse as an anti-air. So you see, he knees up to the sky, so it still hits pretty high up. Yeah, I, I, I used that a few times last night as anti-air. He has some options, that's for sure. Nothing like a dragon punch, but he has more than he did th than he did in uh, his, most most games actually. Yeah, if you can predict it, his crouch fierce worked really well as an yeah. anti-air as well. And so. same with the down up punch. <laughs> yeah, the, the flames. Little, the yeah, flames. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So LPN is now on Tournament Game, wants that PlayStation 4. <laughs> and I'm really happy that he's doing it with Bison. You know, that's the character that I played second most in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's right. And so I'm really happy to see that he's as unique as he is now. Really makes me glad. Yeah, it's a really different take, really it different is. take on the character. <laughs> And that's kind of one of the nice things. There's, a, They really changed a lot about a lot of the characters, you know? Stuff that you're really used to. Oh, oh no, got yeah. Oh, no, no combo. You can do low forward, low strong. I saw him do it earlier, but he just missed it. You see them really trying to play this careful footsie game. Once you figure out the timing for links, they really are pretty simple because of that extra mm -hmm. buffer window. But when we started last night, we were trying them with timing from other games, which is a little bit different. You, yeah. you actually are supposed to do it a little bit earlier, I feel, than, than you think. Well, well, that's the thing, is in a lot of the other games, you tended to veer later. Ooh. Oh! I like the idea. Yeah. You tended to veer late on the links because that way, even if it didn't combo, at least your move came out and you can keep applying pressure. But in this game, you want to hit it early, which is a little different than what you're used to. Right. But, but as we mentioned, once we got that down into our system, it was actually really easy to land a lot of those links. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, was not even necessarily on a particularly lagless TV. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although I thought it was okay. We're talking about last night. Yeah, yeah last we were, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah different. Yeah, we were uh, just uh, on a hotel setup, whatever yeah, the hotel, hotel TV was. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> No, yeah. no. <laughs> Definitely here we have we have Ben Q's. We're we're doing fine on lagless displays. Yes. Shout out to Ben Q for providing all the monitors here. So you can see all the options that Bison has in that mid range. He has some good buttons. He has good anti fireball stuff. You know, you can go to doubles to, to go airborne. It's just not the walk speed, right? So when people right. see the walk speed that's very slow, they they're worried about it. I don't think you need to be. Oh, did he touch a button? No. Oh, get oh in there. but why? Oh, was he, he looking for a psycho, maybe? Yeah, he might have thought that it was going to trigger. Yeah, it doesn't actually trigger unless it hits. Has V trigger. They both do, in fact. Yeah, one of the things I will point out, though, is that the throw range, you can see, throw range is not huge in this game. Oh, got a kill! He could have. He could have. Again, just unfamiliarity with the, with the combos of what they actually wanted to do. Right. Oh! oh catch him! He has some advantage there. Yeah. That could have been a PlayStation 4 winning round right there, <laughs> that V-Trigger. Trying yeah, to keep you see it pretty that safe now. Low roundhouse was not particularly safe on block. You saw the different animation of when it got blocked. Let's see what he goes for the setup here. Yeah, you can get some really ambiguous jumps if you get the timing right. Yeah, for uh, sure. Off of that throw. And it'll let you know if it's a cross up, but <laughs> it's hard to tell in advance. Yep. But at least you know afterwards. Right, yeah. Oh, here comes that pressure again with the flame, and then into the Devil's Reverse. I really like how he switches up between those. Oh, put himself in the corner now. This is Huda Man's chance. Oh, he backs off, though. 
see if Huda Man can battle back. Dude, look how much damage he did with that V trigger already. You know it. He's just a good. Oh, oh, did he get him? Yeah, yes. he did. He's gonna end it with a. Is psycho that a PlayStation Four? That's a PlayStation Four. Congrats to LPN. He took it <laughs> with Bison, the only Bison in that top eight. That's right. Good stuff to him. No, I'm really glad that he was able to use Bison and take that because, as yeah. you said, you know, it was a good exhibition of that character, what he's capable of. Yeah. I really started liking that mix-up that he started going for in the corner where he would do low strong in the flames, low strong scissors, yes. or devil's reverse. So really, really good mix-up If you're playing against there. that, you definitely have to approach that, each mm. one of those options differently. You can't just drag and punch out. Right. So, yeah, really nice play. There sure. was a lot of Ryu. I'm sure we'll see that. But, um, you know, Ryu, I think, is really interesting in this game, too. He can definitely play a rush down. We didn't yeah. really see it that much, but believe me, mm -hmm. having seen it last night, he can definitely play strong <laughs> rush down as well as that mid range game that Uda Man was just doing. Yeah. That, that's yeah. cool. You know, that's that's one of the things about uh, Ryu that I that I really like in this game. That I feel like those are both very viable for him. Mm -hmm. He feels he feels much more, I would say, like a third well strike Ryu. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's more but well rounded. I feel like you know. I absolutely agree. Yeah, I, I, maybe not third strike Ryu. Maybe third strike Ken. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I would with a lot that, of different yeah, yeah. options. So. I mean, not quite as much like the step kick kind of game, but it's just the, no. the But way in terms of options, he has a lot of right. stuff. Right. And not only that, but just Ryu, just in general, like when you played against the Ryu in Street Fighter 4, you didn't feel necessarily threatened by him mm. as much. Right now, when you find out what Ryu can really do, once he gets next to you, you get scared. Like, you get nervous, you know what I mean? And he has yeah. the potential to threaten you. And because of the high stun, the exactly. overheads are a lot more effective. The exactly. chip damage on the normals, the overheads become more yes. effective. And then, like I said, the standing strong low roundhouse is a great chain. Yeah, the throws do 25% stun bar. And leave you right next. And for Ryu, it leaves you right next to him. So, so, so basically, if Combo Fiend got in a jump, he would do half of our stun bars, mm -hmm. and then it was one or two mix-ups, and we were stunned, we're and let's Dead. play next round. Yeah. He, that was the character I think we got, when, when I mentioned the nine-second kills, I think it was with his Ryu that it happened most often. Well, speaking of Combo Fiend... Oh, is he doing an exhibition? There he